All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with OpenCV and uh, face recognition on a Mac. Uh, process shouldn't be too different on other um, platforms like Windows and Linux, but um, I'm going to show you on Macs that is running Catalina. And I have the step by step directions for how to get this up and running. Um, let me show you, though, what the end result will be. I think this is really cool. Uh, and again, like there's a lot of steps, but nothing's difficult. It's it's something that's anyone's capable of doing. You don't even have to be super techy or anything. Um, here's a code that I share with you in here as well. Um, I'm just in idle, which is the default uh, Python editor on a window on a, a Mac machine. And so I'm going to bring up terminal. And I have this folder that has my uh, picture of myself in it. That is basically like the uh, image that the face recognition um, library is going to look at to determine when we're live streaming if there's a match. Um, and so let me go ahead and run this code. So to do that, I have a folder on my desktop that I need to navigate to. And it's called face. And I have, you know, it's open right here. I have a some images by default, the code that comes from the face recognition library in Python has Obama and Biden, though they don't provide images. So just a note on the images. So like I said, they don't provide the images. GitHub just gives you the code. Um, Obama and Biden are the, um, it says Biden.jpg and Obama.jpg. You can download any headshot and just use it substitute it in as long as you match the name just rename it to that it should be easy to get up and running i just grabbed some images i had on my local drive uh, and substituted them in as you'll see in a moment i'll show you um i'll give you a little demo of the software um, and i added one of myself that's right here and these are the names that will display anyway i'll show you how to how we can do this and so um anyway to run this you're going to say python 3 and the name of the file, which is face underscore rec dot py. I could have called that anything. That's right here, though. And I'm going to run that. And my um, camera should come on. Oh, there we go. All right. So you see that it actually does recognize me. And if I hold up a picture of Brad Pitt. Oh, wait, what happened? There we go. It should recognize him as well. So pretty awesome, actually, that it works like that really quick. Um, it's a little laggy right now only because I'm running uh, video and recording stuff simultaneously. So there's a lot of processing going on. Anyway, so I'm going to end this by hitting Command uh, D or Command C in the terminal window. Um, there we go. Command C got me out of that. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like right out of the box, there's not a whole lot you need to do. And you get that real-time face recognition. Um, and so um, let me just kind of go through the steps. And um, the way I'll say this is if you feel comfortable doing these steps on your own, then you can just run with it. Um, but I will also um, show you the steps. Like I'll go through myself actually running all these commands so that you can see what happens. But um, there shouldn't be any surprises. I've done this a bunch of times, and it usually runs uh, smooth. Um, and so... Um, the first thing you can do is check what version of Python you have. Um, I think when I did this on mine, it comes out as, uh, yeah, 3.8. Um, if you are under 3, really under 3.5, you might want to consider updating. And so you can actually just click on this link, and there's a um, – uh, it actually downloads a package and you double click on this and just go through the installation process like you would any other software. It's really straightforward. It only takes like a less than a minute. Um, but if you'd rather, you can use brew, which is kind of a command for installing things on a Mac. And I actually uh, had this tab open so that we could you can kind of see. So homebrew, which the command for using homebrew is called brew, um, allows you to install various softwares and libraries on Macs, um, just so you're aware of that. However, if you run this, and we're going to need to use Brew later in this tutorial, and you run into an issue, um, then that's why I have this um, step right here. You would need to run this command. You could basically just copy and paste it right in um, 
to terminal. Uh, I'm not going to hit this because I've already done it, but I'll show you actually an installation of this later in the tutorial. Um, like I said, I'm going to run through all these steps later. Anyway, that'll prompt you to install um, Xcode command line tools, um, which is a handy thing to have. You get access to Homebrew as well as other things. Um, and the, the only, the complementary step that you need to, so you, you run that. It takes like a couple minutes to install it. Um, and then you're going to run this. You literally would copy and paste this, put it right in here. Remember to get these quotes and everything. Um, and th again, that takes like a less than a minute to run that. Um, and then command line tools is up and running. And then you can go back and use the brew command right here. All right. Um, I mentioned here a link to PyCharm. That's up to you. In this tutorial, I'm using um, idle. But if you want something that has a little more bells and whistle, PyCharm's a good one. I will just say that PyCharm, like a lot of other um, Python IDEs, um, has its own virtual environment. And if you're going to use PyCharm, I recommend that you, you bring up PyCharm and it has like a little terminal window built in like this that you should run all these commands in that window as well because it's its own virtual environment and doesn't, even though you've installed these libraries here, it might not be accessible in PyCharm. So I just want to mention that. Um, but it, if you want to just follow along with what I'm doing with idle and um, our terminal window, you should be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so the next step would be to install OpenCV, where you just go ahead and um, put in uh, this line, pip3 install OpenCV-contrib-python. And you might be asking, what is pip? And so pip is actually, once you have Python, you should have pip installed automatically. It's a package manager written in Python um, for just, again, installing different libraries and things. Um, so it should be on your computer already. Um, and so you run that. Um, and then you could do this test where you just type in Python 3 in your terminal. And um, then you uh, will get a prompt like this. And you put in import CV2. And that basically, if that allows you to run that without any errors, then you're good to go. You have C OpenCV. CV2 is kind of the import for OpenCV. Um, and you can even just check the version number if you want. Again, I'll go through this later in the tutorial, but I just want to go kind of give you all the steps. The next step is um, you're going to get Dlib. Dlib is like the main library for working with the um, computer vision stuff. And so you would do pip3 install pillow, pip3 install imutils, and then brew install cmake. And those are all pretty quick installations. Then you can, uh, then you have to install Dlib once you have those libraries in there. Dlib is a long one. You're going to want to get a cup of coffee or something because that takes about an hour. Um, and you can do it by either saying pip3 install Dlib or brew install Dlib. Either one should work. Um, so I said that takes a while. Then once you got that, then you can do pip3 install face recognition and then you are good to go. Then you can um, grab the code from GitHub. And that is the code that I had showed you earlier right here. Um, you will have to, like I said, I recommend you make a, a folder <clears throat> somewhere. If I've made it on my desktop. You can grab pictures of Obama and Biden or whoever. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you your images match the name here um, to be Brad Pitt. But, uh, and you can change these names. You don't have to call them Obama. Um, and Biden. I was just making it easier. And, and then I, you can copy and paste this line and do it again. And I put in my own custom image here of myself. Um, and then just make sure everything matches up here and here. Um, and these are the names that are show when you're running the actual code that kind of it frames your face um, and will display the name associated with that. So that's it. And so if you want to stop right now, um, you can go ahead. I'm going to share that document with all the directions. You can go ahead and give it a try. I am going to, in the next part to this video, um, just show you what it's like to go through all the steps so that you can see that. And then in a video after that, I'm going to go through and show you um, how you can customize this and do some really interesting things with face recognition, like detecting smiles and, and things like that. Um, cool. Anyway, that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, good luck.